Americans are feeling a painful loss tonight. Broadcasting legend Gil Noble has passed away. His career spanned five decades. And we knew him from the station hallways, from his knowing smile, and as host of WABC's public affairs program, Like It Is. Sandra Bookman is here with a look back at his life and his immense impact. Yes, Gil was certainly a fixture here at the station and in the community. In fact, talented, tenacious, passionate, persistent, those were just some of the superlatives used today to describe Gil Noble. He became a reporter here at WABC in 1967, and in 1968, he became the host of Like It Is. Many might describe that as his professional destiny. <laughs> For an astonishing 43 years, Brother Gill, as he is affectionately known, spent every week telling it like it is. Many young people on the streets in this nation argue very persuasively, it seems, that this is the only way in which they can make a living and put groceries on the table. They're not taking drugs, but they have to deal with drugs in order to keep their heads above economic water. The show went on the air in the midst of the tumultuous, racially divisive 1960s. It allowed Noble to do what he'd always done, serve his community. But now he could bring the untold stories of African Americans to life and light. The community would glue. If they wasn't at home to see it, they would make sure they taped it. And the conversations around dinner tables, conversation on trains, conversation... At cocktail parties would be, did you hear what Gil said? Did you see Gil? Boy, did he tell it like it was. During his decades-long career, Noble sat down with everyone who was anyone, from politicians to activists to pro athletes to entertainers. He gave his viewers the rare opportunity to see the world from an African-American perspective. He believed in that we should know our history, and uh, he did something about it. Many of us sort of mouth the words, but we don't really do too much. So he'll, he'll be sort of